the Nebraska Cornhuskers out of the Big 12 Conference taking on the Hofstra Pride from the Colonial Athletic Association. Interior players, more scoring in the paint. Himes misfires. Jenkins, terrific rebound and feed. And a chance for a three-point play for Dwan McMillan. His first two points here today. Another open look for Himes, and he's got it. Once again, it's Imes, this time from the left corner. Jenkins takes a look up at the uh, shot clock, fires away, and that's the first point from the leading score for Hofstra. No mark after missing their first three shots here this morning. Nebraska has hit eight of its last ten. Open look for Washington, and the fifth-year senior out of center reach Long Island has his first two points. Jenkins kicks off to Moore. Well short. Long rebound, comes back to Moore, and he gets the easy two. Now out having to defend Mike Moore, 25 feet from the hoop. Shot clock down to seven. Open look, McMillan, and he hits it. Under five minutes remaining. Reverse by Stephen Wakoni. Terrific job here uh, today with Doc Sadler's team. Jenkins makes it look easy. Once again, our final score, Nebraska. 62, Hofstra 47. And he's had a lot of trouble with fouls. And the opening tap is won by Marcus Kitts. Three on the way, Boatman right off the bench and into the school book. Actually, William & Mary winning the rebounding battle. Now 10-8 as Ludwig got the offensive rebound and put it back. And he proved it there, but on the defensive end, he's playing solid. Well, Syracuse lost its two best shooters as McDowell. That is NBA and then some. Woo. Good high screen. Tough pass. Good catch by McDowell. Gets it back to Rum. Bang! 28 in the first. And from three-point range, 47% in the second half as Kitts works inside and ties it up at 32. Tough schedule down the stretch. We're moving forward, I should say, and Joseph's going to need to need to step it up to a big factor. John Mark Ludwig knocks down the three. And Rick, one of the all-time great field goal percentage guys at Syracuse. Oh! Wow. Oh, man. Easily six feet behind that line. Well, no freshman on the floor right now. Jim Behunt going to the veterans late in this one. Oh, there's a freshman, Julian Boatner. Defense has been the bigger problem here in the second half. Ludwig left wide open, knocks it down, and we're tied again. U.S. Presidents, George Washington got a certificate from there. Boy, would this be something for the resume? Marcus Kitts throws it down, and it's a four-point lead. One out of two. Rebounded by the Tribe, but turned back over. Keita's got it. He'll take the shot. And time runs out, fortunately, for By. The Orange will win by three. For the third place game in the Charleston Classic between George Mason and Walford. Cornelius, three from the top of the key is good. Cam Long off the curl, forces it up, gets his own rebound. The tip back is no good, Long again. Another offensive rebound, four attempts, and Cam Long puts it in. That's called padding your stats. Cornelius, the floater, what a shot. Pearson, double team. Nice look underneath for Jonathan Parlage, who has just checked in. Shot clock at six. Into the paint. Hancock counted in the foul. Luke Hancock at 11.6 rebounds against NC State on Friday. 18 against Charlotte on Thursday. Rundles all the way to the hoop. Gets it swatted by Morrison. Cornelius, the kick out. Long for three. What a momentum swing to close out the half. Well, great recognition right there by Cornelius in transition with his head up, looking at the clock. As it dwindles down, Cam Long ready to knock down the long time tray. And that has to put a little up top for Morrison. 
Again, he goes to the spin move, too strong. The putback, in and out. Another putback. This one's in by Isaiah Tate. In the corner, Isaiah Tate for three. Got it. I thought you were going to ask me that, but I guess not. <laughs> Hancock gets it blocked by Johnson. Pearson puts it in. And the foul. We're going to overtime. Pearson posting up. Nice move by Pearson using that rim for a long little pass there for Ryan Pearson. Goes to the left, off the glass, gets the roll. 82-79 here in overtime. The Monarchs of Old Dominion take on the Tigers of Clemson. Cooper. Got it. Pretty jump hook, wasn't it? Yes. He's almost part of the action, too, standing on the sideline. With the left hand. Old Dominion has the lead. With the left hand, that's no good. But kept alive inside by Old Dominion. And that's Carter. <laughs> Three up. Right side, no good. And the follow counted chance at a three-point play. Looked like Frank the Tank got in there and got some work done. Stitt is really good on ball defender, isn't yes, he? Yes, he's very good. Deep three. Wow. That's so wild. Neither club has really shot the ball, I would say, well. The defense has really been dominating. Count it. Chance at a three-point play for Nick Wright. Down to five seconds on the shot clock. Over the seven-footer, and he got it. Nick Wright. How hard do you think it is for the head coach and his staff to keep their guys? That's a tough little floater by Darius James. Very hard to run on them. They get back on defense. There are very few cheap baskets tonight. Offensive board inside. The finish. Ben Finney. Good ball movement. Open look for three, and they knock it down. Keon Carter. Shot clock, extended possession here is under 10, ball is loose, and somehow Old Dominion came away with it. And somehow Nick Wright gets it to fall. Hands it off to a guard, that's James, James. How about the luck right now of Old Dominion? It was tipped, and then Hassel is there. Huge possession here. Baysmore with the basketball, little crossover, the lefty lets it fly, got it! I gotta believe Old Dominion's gonna send somebody along here. Watch and see if it's thrown. There it is. Goes. And Carter is there, and Carter will finish it. Old Dominion is going to head to the championship. 61-60. Old Dominion holds on, and they'll play for the championship of the Paradise Jam tomorrow. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.